out about it until like the last minute, until it's too late. Because I have literally been out on a date with a woman and been wearing a hat seconds up until penetration. Then I just rip it off at the last minute, like, ha ha, I'm gonna pass this on to your grandchildren. <laughs> then she rips off her padded bra, she's like, ha ha, your tits are bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> really degrading being motorboated by a chick. Uh, any Facebookers here? Are we all converted to, uh, to Google Plus? We're all on Facebook still? That's good. I'm sure some of you fuckers are on Facebook right now. Uh, Bobby Hill better make us laugh. Which, uh, yeah, no, that's the problem with Facebook. Facebook has become so time-consuming, I've actually hired illegal immigrants to take care of my Farmville. <laughs> and uh, here's what I hate the most about Facebook. I hate it when people will make Facebook updates as a way to get sympathy. Like, the other day, this girl posts on her wall, she goes, I was just in a really bad car accident. I'm pretty banged up, but I think I'm gonna make it. I'm like, if you're in a car accident and you're able to make a Facebook post about this immediately afterwards, I think you're gonna be okay. I don't know, there's just something about a Facebook post that just depletes the severity of any situation. You know, people will be like, I'm in the ambulance, OMG. <laughs> Not another stab wound, frowny face. <laughs> Boy, this rapist sure has a tiny penis, LOL. You guys took to that fairly well, so I feel like I can push the envelope a little further then, because why the hell not? This isn't going to make or break my sitcom deal. <laughs> so, uh, I've been trying to learn new ways how to please the ladies. Been trying to brush up on my cunnilingus skills, if you will. So, I went to the highest source, I asked a lesbian. And apparently the proper technique is when you're down there, you got to spell out the alphabet with your tongue. And I had a lot of questions for, like, uh, what font do I do this in? <laughs> do I stick with Times New Roman or Comic Sans? Do I treat it like a Microsoft Word document? Do I adjust the margins? Do I do it in bold? Do I italicize the important parts? I'm just afraid to do underline, because I've never licked a butthole. So, uh, <laughs> I know, these are some highbrow pussy eating jokes we got here. Yeah, it's a smart crowd. Oh, man. So, uh, another confession for you guys. So, um, so I'm Caucasian, right? Uh, I told you I don't have a lot of good segues, so that's the best I got. Which, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, there's a lot of advantages to being Caucasian. For instance, stereotypes have never limited the things I can do publicly. For instance, I was hanging out with my Jewish friend the other day. Anytime we, anytime we go out, he always has to over tip to compensate for the stereotype. And this kind of shit just never even crosses my mind. <laughs> but I feel bad because it's gotta be tough for other races. Like uh, you could be a Middle Eastern guy, you could be a fan of karaoke. Just gotta be more cautious of your song selection. <laughs> Otherwise it'll be like, please welcome to the stage, Mohammed. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know if I'll be back again. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. You drop the bomb on me. Etc. Etc. So, uh, any online daters in here? No shit, good time Pat is? Wow, how weird. <laughs> really, there's like a hundred people in here. Me and good time Pat are the only losers. <laughs> yeah. okay. but no, no, it's cool, man, it's cool. You know, I got, you know, I, I got no shame. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I can type some mad game. <laughs> I will totally cut and paste my way into a woman's heart. But I think the site you use for online dating really affects the outcome of the date. 
Like, the criteria for what you base a successful date on differs drastically depending on the site you met. So, like, say, for instance, if you're out on an eHarmony date, halfway through you might text your friend, give them a heads up how it's going, say something like, oh, things are going great, we have good chemistry, this could be the one. But if it's, like, plenty of fish, or okay Cupid, you're like, eh, she's got five kids, but at least that means she puts out. <laughs> Then if it's a Craigslist date, you're like, hey, so far so good, I haven't been stabbed and she doesn't have a dick. <laughs> Here's another thing you see browsing through women's profiles. A lot of women, they like to think they're clever. They like to throw a little bit of sass into their profile. They'll say things like, I'm looking for a man, not a boy. Or my favorite, if you think this is gonna be a one night stand, keep looking. Which is why I want to make a profile that's the complete antithesis of that. I'm going to start getting cocky, say things like, if you think I'm the type of guy who's just going to take you out to dinner with no expectations, move on. <laughs> you think I'm here to meet your parents, you can meet the door, sister. <laughs> so I'm single. <laughs> Uh, I've just never been the type of guy who can go out to bars and meet any woman. You know, I've been too self-conscious. Because I always feel like whenever you're at a bar trying to meet women, you're really just a spokesman for your penis. <laughs> I just feel like this sleazy used car salesman trying to sell them unwanted merchandise. <laughs> so then I just started to promote my penis as if it were a car and the sales pitch doesn't quite come out right. I was like, um, it's the 83 model. Uh, decent condition. No leaks. Uh, one previous owner. And she goes, I didn't know you had the mini coop. Uh, I was like, and I didn't know I had to fill a parking garage. I know. I know. That was a big vagina joke. I'm sure you're all on board here. But I was thinking, though, it's got to be a different experience for guys and girls when they go out to bars or clubs. Because if you're an attractive woman, stepping into a bar is like walking into your own amusement park. You know, where everything is free, and you can go on any ride you want. And there's guys like me, I'm like the ride at the park girls only go on because the line is always short. And there's no weight restrictions. <laughs> And it's handicap accessible. <laughs> That's why before sex, I always start out like it's a roller coaster announcement just to let them know what they're in for. I'm like, thank you for riding Desperation Falls. You must be at least 18 years of age or willing to keep a secret to ride this attraction. We are not responsible for any lost articles of clothing. You may get wet on this attraction. After ride, please exit promptly. Pictures will be available in the lobby. <laughs> this ride is approximately two minutes and 23 seconds. Thank you and enjoy your ride on Desperation Falls. And thank you, I'm Owen Thomas.